And what do you think is going to happen here? I don't know. I don't know. I try to get a lot of different stories. If the water comes up as much as they say, if that, especially if there's a wind for two or three days, this water will come right up to the top of this deck here. Right? Like my neighbor, he's depressed because he thinks he's going to lose all his trees. I'm kind of thinking, well, I'm healthy. <laughs> Beaches along the shores of Lake Manitoba, sandwiched between the huge body of water and Lake Francis. Here, property owners sit and wait to see just how high the water will rise, while others in the area are frantically sandbagging. Wednesday, they got some help from high school students and bust in for the day. Yeah, we need lots of help. Um, we've got water coming from uh, the backside, which is to concern right now Lake Francis. We're trying to get the uh, permanent residents. Uh, elderly people or anybody's property is in immediate danger sandbag for them. Um, we're using the high school students obviously. We've had great response from the city for uh, high school kids, the local kids, um, and for the most part we're just doing the best we can under the circumstances. What they've done in an, in an hour is uh, two days for us. Uh, nice to see them come. As long as we can get some more bags before they have to go. Lake Manitoba is expected to rise the highest it has since the province began controlling levels in 1961. From the Winnipeg Press News Cafe, I'm Tanya Kohut.